The Say family of Navarre, Florida, knew their pup, Atlas, was special from the first time they set eyes on him. Purchased from a breeder in Missouri, the purebred German Harlequin Great Dane was the only dog in his litter and had feet so big he could barely walk without falling down. As the black and white spotted pup got older, he just kept growing bigger. Eventually, his human mom, Spencer Say, had to stop taking him to lunch with her or to public places. People would say, oh my god. Your dog is so big. Your dog is the biggest dog I've ever seen in my life. She said Friday. I could not eat my food, I'd have so many people lining up to take pictures with him. Now, at 6 years old and 225 pounds, Atlas is on track to becoming certified as the tallest living dog in the world by the Guinness Book of World Records. Standing at 104 centimeters tall, or 3 feet and 4.94 inches, from his paws to his withers, the spot in between a dog's shoulder blades, which is the official measuring point for all Guinness World Record holding dogs, Atlas has about 3 centimeters on the current living world record holder, who is 101 centimeters tall, or 3 feet and 3.76 inches. But Atlas Guinness record is not final yet, as the review process for such a prestigious designation is long and tedious. The Says have been communicating with Guinness officials for three years. They had to take multiple videos of him running on flat surfaces, he had to be measured by certified veterinarians and had those measurements witnessed by people other than themselves or their known vet. The witnesses had to sign sworn statements. The vets had to make copies of their licenses and the records have all gone before Guinness officials in Europe and are awaiting final approval. We had to do 20 different things, and it's been three years, Say said. We're just waiting on them to basically confirm him at this point. So just how big is Atlas? He's so big that when the Say family was house hunting two years ago while looking to move from Atlanta, they had to turn down houses because their hallways weren't big enough for Atlas to fit through. He's so big that his collars, bandanas and bow ties have to be custom made to fit his huge neck. He's so big that he can't fit in the car comfortably anymore, and his veterinarian has to come to him instead of the other way around. He's so tall that he could easily knock over a grown child with a flick of his tail, but his gentle spirit and bond with his human baby brother, 16-month-old Oliver, would never allow such a thing to happen. I think Atlas knew I was pregnant before I did. Say said as her rambunctious toddler ran circles around Atlas on Friday. Atlas is so good with Oliver. Oliver treats him like a jungle gym, and sometimes he'll just lay there for hours and Atlas won't even get up. He just lays there and lets him do that until he falls asleep.